Namaste. Today, as you see me as a package of success, when my bio says that I have cleared all the top prestigious exams and interviews of India. My friends, let me tell you not more about my successes, but more about my rejections, my failures, and my determination, my willpower that made me to get those successes. So my story starts from a small, sleepy village of Madhya Pradesh with a thousand, uh, population of barely 1,000 people. On the month of rainy August, a small girl was born in an orthodox Brahmin family, a family that was giant and joined with 30 plus members. It was not an event for them. There was nothing that worth celebrating happened that day when I was born. Only two souls on earth were happy. Obviously, they were to buy my parents. For the rest of them, it was a normal affair. 25 years down the line, same girl, same village, and the whole family was welcoming her with garlands, band, bangs, slogans like Gaon ki beti kaisi ho, Surabhi Gautam jaisi ho, and what not. What made things to become so different for her? My dear friends, let me tell you how things changed, not only for me, but also for my parents, how all the perspectives got changed slowly, slowly, steadily, steadily. I was in a joint family, in a joint family, you know, nobody gets, no, uh, no children, no child gets a separate attention, so we all were treated equally, life was okay, we were happy. I got admission in my village school, that was Hindi medium, Madhya Pradesh board school. In fifth class, something good happened with me that I remember till date. I got 100 out of 100 in my mathematics paper. Fifth class was a board class. So my teacher called me and she said, that, see, I have never seen anybody scoring full marks, that too in mathematics, that too in board exam. You have done this, so I think you, you are going to do something good in your studies. That was the day when I felt appreciated and recognized, and I, I had given this clear message to universe that in future, all I am going to do is to be a studious girl, because with the studies comes recognition. With the studies will come re appreciation for me. Otherwise, in this family, I am not going to get this at all. So I, I started to focus more on studies. But my heart, it, it always wanted to diversify. I wanted to do everything. I started to try my hand at painting, sketching, drawing. I started to do embroidery also. I was busy with my uh, you know, village priest uh, in all the pujas and all the Ramayan ayojans and everything. And I was not noticing the pain, the pain that was creeping in my body. I, I started to feel the pain in my joints and, and my elbow and every joint of my body. And after some time, I was bedridden. My parents took this decision with, with their meager resources to take me there. We went there at a place called Jabalpur, and uh, doctor said that uh, your daughter has this rheumatic fever. What happens in this disease is uh, there are viruses always present in air. Now and then they attack the body of children and they create pain. And when it becomes serious, what happens, they attack your heart and they disturb the uh, semilunar valve. And in some cases, it leads to death also. It was a shock for them. But then they asked that what can be the possible treatment. As a treatment, doctors suggested that uh, she should be given the dose of antibiotic. And that antibiotic was penicillin. There's, there is some problem with penicillin. What happens, as, lo as soon as it enters the body, it gets solidifies when it comes in contact with air. So it was again a problem because I had to be injected with penicillin in every 15 days. And not every MBBS doctor was ready to do this because it can also lead to death in some cases. So in village, in every 15 days, it was also difficult to get a, sk a skilled do doctor to inject me with the confidence that I will not die. Well, life was going OK, OK. There was a problem of electricity in my village, so I had to study in kerosene lamp. I had other problems. There was no tuition. School situation was also very bad. Then the second best thing of my life happened. It was a 10th class result. My 10th results came, and I again scored 100 out of 100, this time not only in mathematics, but also in science. And my and my percentages were good enough to place me on the state, in the state merit list. Well, I became a pseudo-celebrity of my village. 
I was in news for quite a week, and the newspaper interviewer came to me, and he started to ask me questions: How you did this? You know, this is a great achievement, and all. And at last, he asked one question: Surabhi, what do you want to become when you grow up? You know, what is your career choice? Well, I was not knowing what a career is. All I was knowing that okay, I'm good at dancing, so I can be a dancer. I can be a singer too. I can paint also. But a career, I I told him. Uh, sir, uh, sir, I do not. I cannot recall anything. I cannot answer this question to you. He said, "Come on, you have to answer this. You have got a place in merit list." Suddenly, a word flashed in my mind out of nowhere, and I said, "I want to be a collector." Well, he got the headline for the next day, and I was damned. Next day, the news came: collector banna chahti hai Surabhi. <laughs> this this news changed, you know, course of everything for me after that. Everyone was coming to my home with the sweets to my parents, and they were saying that they, you know, Gautam ji, your girl will do something good. I was enjoying all that limelight, but I was not knowing how to be a collector, what a collector is, and how important he is for society. Well, uh, I went into 11th. I took mathematics, and uh, I forgot about all these things. Yeah, I wanted to correct. something that was wrong in my village that was wrong with my education that was wrong with the situation of my village uh, that there was no electricity there was no proper uh, hospital so i wanted those things to be on right place but through collector or not through it i was not clear well i uh, i passed 12th and i got apj abdul kalam scholarship for securing maximum marks in science stream so again one more pseudo celebrity status and with all this status i came to this big city of bhopal in this very college and took admission for bachelor of engineering <laughs> this decision of my parents to send me from the village to a big city for uh, higher education was a big decision because i was the first girl from my village to go out and study so it was not only i who was studying here it was the whole village along with me if i will come back the hopes of all other girls the door for all other girls will close automatically so i had to perform here anyhow well the first day of my college was the worst day of my college to be frank because what happened when i entered the college there was chemistry lab that was going on i entered the class and uh, ma'am was taking lab she she, she asked me okay you go and do titration titration in my village there was no lab I do not know the meaning of titration in Hindi, so I was standing there blank. Again, I looked at ma'am. She she asked me go there and pick up the test tube. First time in li my life I had seen the test tube, and I I I took that and it broke, and I was like, oh my god, what I have done? Anyhow, I was hiding behind something so that ma'am should not notice me, and I passed one R. Then the next class, engineering physics. introductions were going on and everyone was standing and fluently asking uh, answering giving their introduction in english and i was freezing in my seat that when my turn will come what am i supposed to do what will i say i do not know english at all i am from a hindi medium school how will i introduce myself i was stealing words from everyone's introduction and anyhow i you know jotted down the words and gave my introduction and i thought okay this has passed but the sir was not patient enough he he asked me one more question he asked me Uh, okay tell me the definition of potential okay the basic question of physics i have got apj abdul kalam scholarship for scoring maximum marks in physics uh, pcm but i had to answer this in english and i cannot frame a sentence a single sentence in english so i just stood there and i kept mum teacher came to me and he said are you really have you really completed your 12 have you really passed it you you cannot answer this very basic question of physics only i knew how much i love physics i am not answering this be no, not because i do not know physics it is because i do not know english but this all was going on in my mind only i was not able to speak anything well i came back to my room and i wept you know i cried i just wanted to pack my bag and go back to my village no more higher education nothing else this city is not meant for me this college is not meant for me these people are not, not meant for me i called my parents that day that day they played the role of jamavant the role that jamavant played for hanumana reminding him all of his great powers that no you can fight no you can fly they they told me that okay you come back but see you are closing the door of all other girls of your village so you have to take a big decision 
Well, I picked the point and I decided to fight and I decided that by the end of this semester, I am going to be fluent in English. Well, I took my engineering books, I jotted down all the spellings and everything, I pasted them on my wall and all my walls were, were, were colored with spellings and I was always on the revision mode. And it went deep inside my subconscious mind that, you know, my dreams also were in English after that. Like all the characters, be it. <laughs> and in first semester, I topped, I topped not only my college, but, but I topped the whole university and I got chancellor scholarship for that. <laughs> that day, that day I had this belief that if, if you really want, want to achieve something, anyhow, you know, you do not have any means because when I wanted to improve my English, I, I was not able to take coaching and I was not having any English medium friend, so I was totally unarmed. But I do not know how the universe conspired and I finally was able to give a TED talk even in this platform. Well, the college passed and I completed my college when I was 20 and a half, so you need 21 years as minimum age for UPSC exam. So meanwhile, I wrote GATE exam, ISRO exam, BARC exam, SAIL exam, MPPSC exam, and after six months, I wrote IES exam. And my dear friends, I qualified all of them. <laughs> when the first call letter that I got, that was from Bhab Atomic Research Center, Department of Atomic Energy, Mumbai. So I was very excited. Okay, I'm going to give this highly, you know, touted as the one of the most toughest interview of India. So I was about to appear in that interview. I consulted some of my seniors about how it can be. How should I, pre uh, how should I prepare for it? All I got was negative feedback. See, Surabhi. In whole of our life, we have never seen anybody qualifying that interview. Okay, you want to go to Mumbai for fun, then go, but don't have this expectation that you're going to do anything there. Well, this, all this negativity, I appeared in interview, and I was the first scientist to whom I was knowing is a scientist in my life. So I qualified that interview, and I shifted to Mumbai, and I became a nuclear scientist. Well, I wrote IES exam meanwhile, and it takes one year, for the, one year for the results to come. After one year, the result came. And I was AIR1, not from any IIT, not from any NIT. I was from UIT, and I topped the exam. <laughs> I was the first lady in India to top engineering service exam, and my marks were maximum marks in history of UPSC till date. So finally, after becoming a Sarkari officer, I did resign from BARC and I joined Indian Railways through engineering service and I went to Sikandrabad for railways training. I was getting salary, there is no financial problem. You know, I was getting respect from society. So I did not to study anymore, no, no hard work, so all party was waiting for me. And I was very excited, okay, life is now going to be a smooth ride. No more hard work, no more sacrifices and all. I have done enough. Well, I joined railways and I was thinking to enjoy. I was trying hard to enjoy and be happy, but I was not happy. And I was not knowing what, what is wrong with all these things. So I called my mother and I asked her, why is it happening with me? Why am I not enjoying all this? She, she said, me, have, do you remember your 10th class interview? Have you ever read that piece of paper again that you said you want to be something or you want to do something for your village and all those things? Was this struggle was only for a sarkari job or a good salary, or was this was something for, uh, for something else also? Well, I really recall and I read this interview again, and I don't know how many times in my life I've read it, and I decided to prepare for civil service examination. Well, this examination, I want to say, is one of the toughest exam of in not only India, but of world. 11 lakh aspirants appear for this, and mostly, it takes four or five attempts for them to clear. Students in Delhi, if you will go there and see, they are giving their 24 hours every day and preparing for this exam. And I was doing the job of railways, was deciding to prepare for this exam. I was hardly getting three or four hours from my training to, to prepare for this exam. I could not take leave in training also. So, so the, the decision was going to be a very tough decision for me, but with all those things, I decided to go ahead and I started my preparation. 
I was mostly on train roaming for trail, uh, railway training, so I bought a tab and I downloaded all the things. So I started reading online. I I read it. I read in uh, mobile. I read in my uh, tab, and I was mostly on you know stealing mode. I was stealing minutes from hours. And sometimes I felt frustrated. I felt like giving up. Again, I called my mom. She she was a continuous mentor for me. So, so I called her. I said, see. Even after becoming a sarkari officer, I have to do again all these things. Life is so miserable for me. I I was never enjoying when I was a child, and today also when I am an officer, I am not enjoying. I am only doing studies, and I don't know ki, where, where it is going to lead. Am I going to qualify it or not? I am not sure, but still I am again studying, studying all the time. She said me one thing. See, you are 23. When I was 23, I had three childs. The youngest of them was 10 months old. I had a family of 30 plus members to whom I had to cook meal. Then I had a job 10 kilometers away from our village to next another village, so I had to go and uh, do that also. And then I had allergic skin, so for that I had to visit doctor and I have to cover my body all the time. So I had all these problems, but I never complained. You, on the other hand, do not have any social responsibility, family responsibility. All you have is your dream. All you want is to prove for yourself because for others you have already proved. Now this is your task. You have to do, and you are saying life is difficult at you. You have, you need to change your lenses, beta. That day, I stopped complaining mostly, at least with her, and I was totally on a mission mode. All my scarcities, I converted them into my luxuries. The more I struggled, more strong I became, and finally, I got All India Rank 50 in this coveted exam, Civil Services Examination 2016. to summarize at last i believed in these words these words truly tell my story and i also want to convey these words to you also there is no substitute of hard work and there is no shortcut to success and my own four lines that i wrote i want to say jo nahi mila hai uska gham jo karti jo nahi mila hai uska gham jo karti hasil mauqon mein fir yu nahi sawarti किस्मत से लड़कर पाना भी तो जिद है किस्मत से लड़कर पाना भी तो जिद है ये बातें मुझ में फिर यूँ नहीं उभरती मुझको भी गम होता था ना मिलने का लेकिन खुद से ही वादा था चलने का मुझको भी गम होता था ना मिलने का लेकिन खुद से ही वादा था चलने का कदमों ने जितना नापा उतना कम है कदमों ने जितना नापा उतना कम है यही रहस्य है मंजिल से मिलने का यही रहस्य है मंजिल से मिलने का थैंक्स फॉर बींग Thank you. Thanks for being such a patient and such a good audience. Thanks, Ted, and thanks to everyone.